We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. 716, we got more Oscar talk here in mm-hmm. just a second, but it is the Ryan Report brought to you by... McDonald's for a limited time. Get two mouth-watering steak and egg burritos for only $3 at participating McDonald's. I'm loving it. All right. The Cab Police are yes. investigating the shooting that happened at 3 a.m. this morning outside of the Velvet Room in mm. Shem. Police say a DJ at the club mm-hmm. fired at police and two DeKalb police officers fired back, hitting the DJ in oh. the leg. Oh. Police say after the shooting, the DJ ran back inside the club, but he was shot. Right. So he was easy to arrest. They just followed the blood. He was taken to an area hospital. The police officers were not injured. How you gonna get shot and then run back inside the club? Now that's pretty strange. Yeah. So this party was held at the Velvet Room. Right. And a shootout happened. A shootout happened. And then those darn the police. Now the police got shot as well, right? No, no, no. 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 Just the guy. Yeah. Just the DJ. Oh. Yeah, we don't know the DJ's name, but it's, yes, we he's do. a DJ. DJ we can't do. shoot. We don't know the DJ's name. That is right down the pipe. No, it's not it. <laughs> it says DJ at the club. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh on that. <laughs> Lil Wayne owes $12 million in unpaid taxes. What's the DJ name? <laughs> Wheezy mm-hmm. owes the IRS $12,155,000. Hold on now. 12 what? $12 million. What's wrong? Oh 155,084 in back taxes. What's wrong with these rappers? According to uh, Gossip million. Extra, they've already put a lien on it. Oh. Filed in Miami Dade County Clerk's Office. <gasps> he didn't pay the extra 5.8 million for 2011 oh and God. 6.3 million for 2012. If he doesn't pay up, they'll go after his mansion, which he paid 11.6 million. In Shootouts, bad taxes. It's those lyrics. Twelve million dollars. Are you kidding me? <laughs> So where Come is on. this accounting? Hey, there we go again. And, and see, that's what I'm saying. There where we go the again. That same thing you said last time. Where is the accounting when all these things take place? Honestly. No. That's what I want to know. It's not checking who's doing your accounting and not checking and knowing mm. about your business. How do you not pay? How do you, how do you make a whole bunch of money in a year and then you don't have to write a check at the end of the year to IRS? There's a problem. If you made that much money, you're going to have to write a check. Poor Wayne. <laughs> I know. You have our deepest sympathy, Wayne. No, you don't. On the fact that you didn't pay $12 million. That's a lot of money. (laughs) (laughs) I don't care. (laughs) All right. Last but not least. Yes. uh, Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. Last night winning the uh, Dallas Buyers Club Mm. Best Actor category. Best Speech. And Jared Leto winning Best Supporting. I mean, Dallas Buyers Club was unbelievable at the box office. Uh, Will Smith gave the best picture to 12 Years a Slave. Steve McQueen is the director. He's the first African American director to yes. ever win an award for best. And picture. he jumped up so high. I was he like, was, "Go ahead, big boy." He was so <laughs> Baby, he was happy. So happy. That was such a happy Oscars. Yes, it was. The speech is incredible. Mm-hmm. Matthew McConaughey, incredible. Jared Leto, incredible. And Brad Pitt, of course, helped finance that whole thing. It's one of those movies that they never thought was going to get made. Mm-hmm. So that was a, a big, big moment last night for nice, twelve years later. Nice. You've seen that. No, I'm, I, I've been afraid to see it. I know. I've been afraid I, to see it. Movies like that scare me. I, I don't want to cry. See it. I don't want to cry. I don't, I don't, why and not? I heard, I heard it's a fantastic movie. I just don't like movies like that. Because? It's just, I don't want to feel. I don't want that feeling. We should all go see it. That, That's what, you know, uh, Shanti Da sent me a, uh, a text. Right, and she was right. like, yeah, now too. we need to have kids go and see it. We should My do son, a screening. My son, saw it. And it's a little he was heavy. Like, he said the movie is so good. Well, I'm my just, girlfriend went oh. to see it. My girlfriend Tina went to see it, and she called me, and she told me, mm. if you go see it, don't go alone. And oh. right when she told me that, I didn't want to see it. Because I, I hate to come out of a movie feeling some like I have to way. have some support but, with me at the movie. If, if a movie has all that acclaim, you should go and see You're it. Because right. obviously, everybody's reacting to it. You're you right. need to go and check it out. Well, take us then. It was I just much. said that. You're going to take us to the movie. 12 Years a Slave is based okay. on a true story. I'll go up and take It's the same me. thing about I know. working up here for Reggie. Mo and I will go up. <laughs> it's the same thing. What? <laughs> what is it the same thing? Working for Reggie? Working, 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 working with Reggie. Wait a minute. What you say? You said the same. What no, no. You, oh, you heard what I said. You know three. And if you don't know, now you know. You know. You know. The Riot Report. The 
Ryan Report. Z103.